Hello everyone, this is Diacolin and we are finally, we made it to step eight. This is step eight and I'm so excited. I was gonna do a celebration dance, uh, but I'm not. <laughs> uh, I just wanted to just, just talk to you really quickly uh, because you've made it through eight steps of this I Revise Me video series. And again, you are supposed to work at your own pace. Um, but also, I just believe in celebrating the accomplishments that you've made uh, in changing your life. We've done a lot in eight steps. We have talked about, you know, where you what what areas you need to change. You identified where whatever areas you need to change. Uh, you have set goals. You set action plans. Uh, you have, uh, you know, realized what you need to invest. You've made connections with certain people. Uh, you've done so many wonderful things. You've even taken time to grade yourself. Um, so hopefully, uh, after a certain period of time, <clears throat> pardon me, you have uh, you you know you realize that you've accomplished a dream, a goal, an aspiration, at least one. You know you've changed one area of your life, and whatever that area is, take a moment to celebrate. And by celebration. Uh, I don't mean this in a vainglorious way that, you know, you be so conceited that, oh, I did this because I always say we don't do anything apart from what God allows. So we have to make sure that in celebrating, that you're celebrating the fact that you partnered with God to change your life. You partnered with God to change your life. Uh, you know, I always teach that we are not owners. We are not, we don't own our lives. We are stewards of our lives. Uh, so with that, we have to realize that God is the owner. We're the managers. And so whatever success we have, we have to give glory to him. Um, I always, when I talk about celebrating, I always go back to when David uh, and uh, the Israelites successfully moved the Ark of the Covenant. Uh, remember, they had tried it before, and uh, one man fell dead because he touched the Ark. Uh, but... When they, when they, you know, went back for the second time and uh, successfully uh, moved the Ark of the Covenant, then uh, David danced. He celebrated. What did he celebrate? He didn't celebrate the fact that he did anything. He celebrated that God allowed them to successfully move the Ark of the Covenant. Uh, and that's what we have to do sometimes. We have to stop and just celebrate God. God, I celebrate you and I thank you for allowing me to do this, for allowing me to change my life, allowing me to have what I have and do what I do, those kinds of things. So this is what your assignment is, is that is to find some, some reason uh, to celebrate and find a way to celebrate as well, uh, meaning if you want to host a dinner, you know, with your friends and say, you know what, I just want to celebrate the fact that I set out a goal uh, eight weeks ago or eight steps ago or eight days ago, whatever you want to say, however, whatever pace you're doing this uh, video series and say, I, I set out a goal and I've accomplished one thing on that goal and I just want to celebrate. And that's okay to celebrate. It's okay to, to enjoy your life because here's the thing. We work so hard sometimes in accomplishing goals that we miss the key, and that is to stop and enjoy the moment and to celebrate life. So that is what your assignment is. Do something, no matter how grand or how small, to celebrate your uh, personal revisions. Remember, you did it with God's help. Uh, you revised you. I'm so excited to bring you this video series. Uh, I do want to invite you, just put a plug in to join me for the new year uh, because uh, in the new year, I am re -bringing, I'm bringing back my 30-day uh, personal challenge. Uh, it is 30 days of confidence, passion, and purpose. Uh, it is a challenge that I have been presenting since 2008, and I, I didn't offer it this year, um, but I did offer it. 2011 uh, so I'm going to bring it back and we do it every year in January uh, I'm doing something different this time and I'm going to do videos just like this in this series uh, I will put more information on my website at qlandincorporated.com within the next week or two um, but I wanted to just put that buzz in your ear so that you can go ahead and register now this challenge will be free uh, and uh, you will get this nice workbook that you have to actually send you the download and you print it but let me show you the workbook the workbook has actually um 
you will have a, a particular day and you read the, the information and then on the back of that is your journal where you journal what your reflection was for that day in doing that particular exercise. Um, so that is what we have coming up. Uh, thank you again for being a part of the I Revise Me uh, video series. This video series has been a long time coming, and I'm so grateful to have presented it to you. Uh, as I always say, and I really don't just say this just because it's something to say. I say it because I believe it, and I want you to believe it. Um, but you are great in Christ, and you are powerful beyond measure. When you realize how great you are, when you realize how powerful you are, then I believe that you can, with confidence, change your life and be the person that God desires for you to be. I love you, and God loves you. Be blessed, and thank you. Thank you so much.